Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with the R Holistic Hill, AKA Sonya B. So I'm back with this quick prophetic message. And with that being said, let's just get straight into the message. Um, so I did see a message in regards to a McDonald's and it was a specific McDonald's in a specific location. So I'm gonna just give the location because I don't know who's watching. I don't know your location, but just be mindful because I feel like this could only be happening in particular areas, but one in specifically that stood out the most. So with that being said, uh, there was a McDonald's for those of you who are in the Northern Virginia area, right? There was a McDonald's that is off of Richmond Highway, right? Okay, the location is near the Hyper Valley Shopping Center. In particular, there's something that's going to be happening in regards to that McDonald's. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but the way I saw this was is this, as if I was walking up on the McDonald's. I wasn't close by it, but I was like I was following this trail to McDonald's and this trail uh, you know how people leave breadcrumbs for like the birds or whatever so they can find their way back or, you know, leave the breadcrumbs for the birds? Well, I saw that on this trail was nothing but hamburger and fries, right? But it was leading to the McDonald's. But as I was getting closer to this McDonald's, I had noticed that there was one in particular thing that stood out the most because not only were there burger, burgers and fries on this path in this trail that was kind of whiny leading back to the McDonald's, but I noticed three styrofoam cups. So I saw this gentleman actually pick up the three styrofoam cups and he took them with him. And the first thing I thought to myself was, hmm, he must be recycling that. Because what I had noticed was, again, the hamburgers and fries, they weren't wrapped up. They weren't in the little fry McDonald box that they normally are in. Again, it was just hamburgers and fries. And it wasn't dumped out like it was somebody littering. But it was almost like if it was purposely done this way, you know, um, organized, in other words. It was organized, again, a pathway of hamburgers and fries. I'm not sure exactly what that means unless, you know, my spirit guys, um, unless uh, spirit comes through and give me a full message. But right now I'm not hearing anything in particular, but I know it has something to do. Uh, thank you, spirit. I think it has something. I know it definitely has something to do with recycling. Okay. But anyway, that's a particular message. So just be mindful and watch out for that because you may notice something or you may hear about something in particular. But anyway, so this next message came in a form as if some of, some of you guys may find yourself going to like a theater, whether it's a movie theater or whether it's some sort of theater performance at like one of those big type of theaters, like an amphitheater or something like that, where they do, you know, was it whether it's musicals, whether it be stage plays, whether it be uh comedies whatever just a big theater is what i saw so some of you guys may be finding yourself um partaking in that in particular but i saw is almost like i i got the feeling like like um yeah I, I saw the saw as if some of you guys may be partaking in that and this last message came through um those two messages I received yesterday, this message I received this morning, and which is so funny because today is March 22nd. It is the 22nd, right? Yeah, March 22nd, 2022. That's almost like a portal going on anyway. So with that being said, um, God was bringing this to my attention, okay? So this is for some of you guys. If some of you guys are either expecting or if some of you guys have already given birth in a sense, and I mean actually to an actual child, um, I saw this coming from in a form of, you know, there could be a particular family member, whether there are in-laws or whether they're actually uh, blood relatives in a sense that's doing this. But I basically saw like an individual trying to connect with a child, okay? So some of you guys know that we've been on this journey and it's been a little bit of up and down. It has been a little, not a little bit, a lot of things have been revealed, whether it be, you know, your, uh, your, frenemies or whether it be relatives who you we thought that were you know for people and come to find out they was against them and so on and so on so the way i'm seeing this is just be mindful because i see that there are relatives and again this may not message may not be for everyone but you have to use your discerning spirit okay and Remember, God said to expect the unexpected. So don't be so set and concrete and think that, oh, well, this is my family can't happen to me. And I'm not saying to be paranoid or be fearful of the situation. But the key is just to take 
note and to be mindful and not only that but ask god and ask your spirit guides and you know ask your higher team to just you know give you a little bit of revelation and and pay attention to your intuition because i'm hearing spirit say you know your intuition can be telling you something too so don't brush it off but i saw this coming in a form as if there was like a, a gentleman who's uh like an in-law to the family and and or again it could be blood relative to some so to some people within the family they're an in-law but to others they're blood relatives so with that being said um i saw this individual kissing the child right so like they had the child on their lap and they basically kissed the child and again this is not coming from a place of you know um trying to cause you guys to fear because i'm not this has nothing at all to do with anything okay so let me say this first this has nothing to do with like some sort of violation okay but this is a different type of violation okay so this is more so of a spiritual violation not so much as a physical violation so let me make that clear first of all so it came in a form as if this individual was trying to connect with this child so um for those of you who do not know and don't understand just a simple kiss on the lips when you kiss somebody on the lips it's an it can give you an indication of you're able to kind of tap into somebody else's energy field it's connecting with somebody okay so when he kissed the child on the lips um you know immediately i was like why is he kissing that child on the lips and then i had to ask spirit once you know um i had waken from the dream and as i was writing it writing this down spirit was bringing to my attention that you know he was trying to connect with that child spiritually and when i say that i mean like being able to see what this child has going on in their life in other words being able to see where this child is going to particularly be going in the near future being able to see possibly what inheritance this child you know may receive because we all are entitled to receiving our birthrights should i say but sometimes people try to tap into that to see what they can see about a person so that way they can kind Kind of you know i can't really say what this person's motives are but god is bringing this to your attention so that way you'll be aware of it because he just basically left a message right there just to make you aware of it so i can't necessarily say whether it's trying to go left whether it's trying to go right or whether this individual is trying to tap in and be a part of this child's inheritance but i feel like um thank you spirit i feel like spirit is just wanting you to know to just to be mindful of you know um your kids or whatever so anyway but then there was like two little lanterns right and um you know what little lanterns are right the little lanterns they used to have back in the day uh do i have a card the lanterns that they used to have like back in the as a matter of fact i think in this the lantern that the hermit so the lanterns that they used to hold back in the days when they would light the house and um let me just pull it up real quick just in case somebody doesn't know what the lanch is. Right here. So this individual had like two lanterns. And I remember hearing him say that he was basically going to um, put these two lanterns in a closet. And the lanterns represent light. Being able to see. Being able to maneuver through the light and being able to be a god in light so in particular he had two and he had one for himself and he had one for this child in other words so you know lighting a candle and putting it inside the lantern is almost a representation of somehow trying to connect with this this individual this child so with that being said um he basically and because he took and put it in a closet i've got the feeling like when i saw him he kind of wrapped it up in something so nobody knew what it was there so that was a representation of he didn't want people to know exactly what he was doing so in other words he's doing things behind closed doors and i'm not saying whether it's good or bad i'm not going to say that but i will say this because it was like hidden in like a brown paper bag and rolled up is what i saw both of them and then he he said i was and then i saw him sticking it into the closet again as if he didn't want anybody to see it but what does closet represents closet usually represents secrets that we don't want people to know about okay so with that being said i also heard him saying um now whether it is a man doing this or remember it could be a possible energy um but i really feel like and this is just my personal opinion so please don't get um upset with me saying this but i truly feel like this is a pisces it was not truly this person is showing up in like a pisces type energy or whatever so in other words it's almost like a spiritual 
violation. In other words, like crossing boundaries spiritually, okay? Um, now, whether you are an individual that don't mind somebody kissing your child on the lips or whatever the case may be, I know on the other hand, myself, I didn't want anybody kissing my kids on the lips when they were younger or therefore at all period you know um i would always tell them to kiss them on the cheek or don't kiss them at all <laughs> you know that's just me in particular but i really got the feeling like this child was young even though it came like this child was probably like about i got the feeling like somewhere around eight months or something like that but then the child kind of told the mom that uh like that um I don't know if they said if grandpa had kissed me. So just be mindful of that, you know, but even though it came in a form, this child was like eight months old, it could just be a representation of, you know, a child who is just even childlike, even though this child could possibly be a little older, but just even be mindful, just, just be mindful. Okay. So, but anyway, but this individual is doing this behind closed doors. Cause again, he put the lanterns into the closet which was a representation that only he knew about it and talking to the child, although the child doesn't really know. But at the same time, he also said that I'm going to light these candles on your birthday in a sense. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. And God has brought that to my attention. So now I'm bringing it to yours. So whether you have young children at this point or whether you are uh, expecting, um, I would just say congratulations. But at this point in time, divine, thank you, spirit, divine spirit of light is just trying to, um, he's teaching us maturity in all levels, you know, so whether we're expecting, whether we are expecting parents or whether we are expecting in general, God wants you to know that, listen, everything that's on the surface level, sometimes there's always a hidden uh, agenda behind certain things. So, you know, even though it seems like, you know, whether this is blood relatives or whether this in-laws, you know, uh, whether, because I really got the feeling like this individual person was like in the store, sorry, in the, the, the message, they they are okay thank you spirit they are a, a, an exaggerated so when they talk they exaggerate things uh they exaggerate things like they put some truths in there but then they put some non-truths in there in a sense if that makes sense so with that being said anytime they're telling the story they always exaggerate the story so just be mindful of that that could be definitely a clue of somebody <laughs> to just be mindful of but again I know in particular, for sure, I know this is like a Pisces type energy or whatever. So just be mindful of that as well, too. You know, whether they're a sun, moon, or rising sign, I don't know. But, you know, it came in a form as if they are a sun, moon, and rising sign. But, you know, this could apply to anybody who's, again, coming to any of those different characteristics that I just explained. So just be mindful of that. If they're always telling stories that's not necessarily the full truth, but got a little truth in it, but then some stuff is just exaggerated and so on and so on. And, you know, just be mindful to, again, watch your kids, you know, around certain individuals and, you know, again, because you don't know. And this is God just exposing what goes on behind the scenes that sometimes we don't see. And it's causing us to, um, it's causing us to mature spiritually, should I say, by making you aware of what does take place behind the scenes. Okay, so that is the last message that I have, but I also, and this is funny, right? <laughs> because I was like, all right, Lord, what scripture do we have today, right? And this is important because it actually correlates with the message that I actually received. So listen to this. So this is Ephesians 6, 10, and 11. And it says, finally, be strong in the Lord in the, sh in the strength of his might, okay? Put on the whole armor of God. Okay, so this is God letting you know that certain things that can happen behind the scenes that we're not necessarily aware of. So this is you cloaking yourself in the whole armor, okay? Not just like, oh, this is blood relatives. They would never do this to me, you know? And oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, I don't expect them. You know, no. God is just trying to let us know because, we, we, thank you, Spirit. Because what I'm hearing Spirit say is, you know, we are trying to, with as we're shifting into this age of Aquarius, what's happening here is we're trying to get out of the old mindset. And some people have been doing things for 
I'm hearing eons, <laughs> you know, whether it's this lifetime, whether it's previous lifetime and previous lifetimes before that. But basically, God is trying to get them to collapse and change their DNA, in other words. So whatever DNA system that we may have had from past ancestors and, you know, our parents, grandparents, great grandparents and so on and so on. Basically, God is just trying to shift that and change that. So, yes, this person is going through a lesson of what they shouldn't be doing, but God is also making you aware of what they are doing behind closed doors okay so that way that you can armor and protect yourself okay so it says put on the whole armor of god that you may be able to stand against this this the scams of the devil okay so i'm not calling anybody a devil but sometimes we as people can act in devilish behavior should i say so with that being said that's just a mindset of just letting you know that um god is just trying to strengthen us and making us making us stronger you know so that we can armor ourselves so that we can protect our kids and what i'm also hearing spirit say too so we can do something differently than what we have done in maybe previous lifetimes you know, for us like before people may have done stuff like this and we wasn't even full aware of it. We just thought it was harmless. We thought it was, oh, a part of the whole, you know, spiritual ritual that we supposed to do with our kids. And, um, and no, and God is like, no, we're, we're leaving away from that type of energy. So it's, it's like, he's exposing things that are being done behind the scenes and making you aware of it okay so that way you can be aware of it and not only that but so that you can do something different about the situation because we're not meant to continue on with just sitting by and acting like we're oblivious oblivious oh god <laughs> oblivious okay i'm not gonna try to say it thank you spirit but thank you anyway oblivious you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> to what's really taking place and sometimes I'm also hearing spirits say sometimes people don't want to know certain things because that forces them to have to change things. And it's like, oh, my God, like, I don't want to see this person that way. And, oh, they're not doing this and so on and so on. But anyway, that is all that I have for you guys. So, again, you can go and read Ephesians 6, 10, and 11 for yourself. But um, that definitely correlates with that last message. So, anyway, with that all being said, I wish you all much love, much light, and I say peace and blessings until the next message. Remember, always keep God first and foremost. Bye.